All right, what's good, Water Signs? This is Sunny Nagini, Queen Nagini, and this is how <laughs> working in the matrix, you know, can benefit you, you know, your nine to five job or whatever, how to make it work for you, how it can benefit you for the element of water. So if you are a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, this is for you. Please check your North, your North Node and your Mars. I just feel the energy really heavy. Uh, so if your planets are in water signs for those i mean as well as your sun sign and your rising but i'm really feeling heavy north node energy mars energy okay i pulled for my karma cards and uh yeah it says purification to resurrect to resurrect that keyword goes with compulsive resurrection to purification to resurrect i'm tongue-tied i was not tongue-tied with no one else's reading Heavy throat chakra energy, what are signs? This is blue kyanite. I'm feeling like this tongue, like tongue tied <laughs> shit going on right now. Like I wasn't feeling it. I feel like compulsive, right? Like I'm getting tongue tied, compulsive. I feel like stay out of people's business. Don't put your two cents where it's not needed. Don't give your opinion where it's not asked at the workplace. Schizophrenia, that's paired with the compulsive energy. Purification to resurrect. What are signs you may have to pull yourself in the workplace? You may have to kind of like pull yourself from this uh, light or this image of kind of being um, an instigator or a gossiper. Or just getting involved in problems that don't have anything to do with you. I mean, at all. And I do mean at all. Like, it is, it's like compulsively. I keep seeing this word compulsive. And it's paired with purification to resurrect. If you get yourself caught up in some shit at the workplace where you talk too much or you got caught up in someone else's business. Or you got caught, you 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 may have lied on something, or you may have lied, or you may have told a fib, or um, I, mean, I said told a fib, who the fuck says that? So it's giving like childish energy, it's giving like, you got caught up in some childish games in the workplace. Please don't get caught up in childish games in the workplace, because you might find yourself conflicted in a position where you're standing, and you may be standing there by accident. You, what a sign, this is not the place, like, this is not the place to be messy. Purification to resurrect. One thing about Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy is about death and rebirth. Death and rebirth. If you play yourself, okay, kill that aspect of yourself and resurrect as a new person. Just completely rebuild yourself. I feel like you're going to have to do a PR campaign on yourself, what are signs, if you are out here playing yourself, um... This looks like a bullet to me. You might have to bite the bullet. You may have to just admit to some shit like, yeah, I said that. You know, I didn't mean that at the time, but now I see. You may have to clean this shit up. It's giving campaign. Get on your campaign. You may have to get on your campaign because you may have, you, you, it's like, where you at? You're in the middle and you may be confronted to be like, well, did you mean this or did you mean that? And when you said, you know, they wasn't shit. I mean, that's what you said. But, like, you're, you're defending them now. And it's, you don't look flaky. Don't come off disingenuous. Don't be a follower. The secrets of, the secrets of forceful. Forcing yourself to fit in. Do not force yourself to fit in. And this, if this is somebody else, and if this is somebody who you work with, or if this is somebody else, okay, please understand that you are dealing with somebody who is very much, they don't know themselves. And you need to be careful to not get caught up in this energy. Some sort of way, whether you are the person who is, talking shit and getting people caught up in webs of lies and webs of bullshit or whatever, whether it's you um, who is acting in this energy or it's someone else, you need to be careful to not associate yourself with that. 
It, it, niggas come ask you about some shit. I don't know nothing. You need to, it need, it's giving, you need to be biased. I mean, unbiased, you know? Like, you need to, um, you're coming off very biased. And that's the secrets, the secrets of bias, being biased. And it seems like to me, if you or someone else was being biased, they didn't even mean it. This is giving drama at the workplace energy. This is giving um, you take your job for granted and you don't realize that this is not a place for play and this is not a place where you can take your little high school drama and reenact it. Scorpio. Scorpio has to do with the past. And I know a lot of people who are in my, gen in my generation, their Pluto is in Scorpio. So it's also giving past life shit. Maybe your need to dominate, maybe your need to control or fit in. It really has, it's, it's really an energy of fitting in, the need to fit in and or accidentally being placed into other people's BS because you are a little disingenuous and you lack your own opinion or you're afraid to share your opinion. So you get yourself tongue tied and you get yourself caught up in situations that really don't have anything to do with you. I mean, at all. This gives me like the energy, like say for instance, somebody at the workplace is harassing someone because they're prejudiced. And you may say something or do something to help this person be spiteful, but you didn't know that they were being spiteful because they're prejudiced. Now it's coming out that they did everything that they did to be prejudiced. In some sort of way, you're attached to this. <laughs> and you're black. <laughs> or you're some sort of minority that's the energy that I'm getting that's an example but that is the energy I'm getting water signs you gotta realize the last keyword was magnetic and jealousy and that goes with resulting from the power of so listen someone may be jealous of the fact that you are in power and while they were trying to take someone else down them being jealous of the position that you are in, they found a way to get you caught up in it too because they don't like you neither. Because you are so magnetized in your energy that you attract jealous fucking people. You attract spiteful, conniving people. Or what are signs if you are guilty of doing this to someone else and you didn't, <laughs> you didn't got yourself into something, you know, like say for instance, if you are being accused of being prejudiced, and that's actually wasn't your intentions at all, but the way that you did things and the way that you dressed it up, that's exactly what the fuck it looks like. And that's because you were acting out of an energy of jealousy and trying to attract the blessings that belong to someone else because you don't have the faith that you can manifest it in yourself. Please check yourself. At the bottom of the deck is the tower card. Listen, I don't know what side of this you're on, water signs, but this is a time of rebirth and change. You know, the tower card to me is just another aspect of the death card. Because, I mean, once this tower is destroyed, I mean, it's death of the old building and it's going to be a new building. This building will never be the same again because it is being fucking destroyed. So it still gives Scorpio energy of that death energy. Death and rebirth resurrect you're going to have another opportunity to clear the air you're going to have the opportunity to clear the air whether you got dragged into this or whether people want to drag you into this you may have the opportunity to let people know this is where i stand and please don't try to get me caught up in this bullshit hmm. what is i'm hearing cancer you're going to have to use that throw shock with it be like listen i'm not about that shit i'm not down with that i'm a person of principle and value I think you got me fucked up and mixed up when I said so-and-so. This is what I meant, though. And I apologize if I ever came across or led you to believe that this is what I meant and this is what I was doing. It's giving clear the air energy. Take accountability, page of swords. You may have to see things from other people's perspectives out of yours. Honestly, truly. You may really have to see things from a perspective outside of your own.
gossiping, spying on people, that's a dub. I'm not going to hold you. Getting into people's business, trying to get leverage, trying to have an understanding, doing all this extra unnecessary shit because you just want to know what's tea. Honey, you better heal from your high school, your high school trauma. Please do. Three of Pentacles. This Three of Pentacles energy keeps coming out. We need to create foundations where we support each other in the workplace. Like, I don't understand. Like, why is everyone struggling to get down with this Three of Pentacles energy than creating foundations? I mean, at this point, it is not even about race anymore. It's about the rich and it is about the poor. It's either you're rich or you're poor. They are eliminating the middle class. We don't have time to be losing our jobs because of petty tit for tat. That should not be involved in the workplace and we need to be doing better collective and not involving ourselves in this bullshit. And when we see it and we're in a position of authority, nipping that shit in the bud. Because how are we supposed to create our own foundations if we can't even pay our, our fucking bills and we don't have money for capital? It takes money to make money and you ain't gonna have no money if you lose your job because you being catty. The fuck? King of Wands energy. Come on now. Be creative and lead. Water signs. You need to be creative and, and nipping shit in the bud. This King of Wands energy is a leader. And you need to be you need to make not being shady cool. Like, hey, are we making fun of them? Bro, that's totally not cool. No, like we don't do that. That's like you're a poser. Like you like water signs, take it there. You're gonna need. Take it there. Please take it there, water signs. Water signs, you need to fucking take it there. You need to take it there. You need to be the peacemaker in the workplace. You need to be the one that be like that's like gossiping. Like, like, what is that? You hear somebody talking about somebody, you know her underarm stings. You need to be the one to pull her to the side and be like, hey, like, you know, I noticed some people saying, you know, that they smell an odor around you and you know, I just wanted to let you know so, like, you know, you could check yourself, you know, like, I'm, I don't want to offend you, you know, like, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything, but, you know, and pull them to the side and tell them, like, directly. I'm like, I don't mean no shade or anything, <laughs> but, you know, like, find a way, you gonna find a way to say it nice. Like, people were just saying that they, you know, they, they, they smelt an odor or whatever, and um, if you, I don't know if you noticed or not, but if you feel uncomfortable, I do have baby wipes and spray deodorant, you know, or something. What the fuck? Instead of going around talking about her in the workplace and ostracizing her, be like, oh, yeah, look at garlic bag. Hey, garlic. Hey, GB. She's like, hey. <laughs> Call her garlic bag. Hey, GB. Don't do that. Find a way to work cohesively to with, with each other so that you can produce a good work. If you don't have a healthy work environment, you don't know how to work together. You're not going to know how to collaborate. Create healthy partnerships. You need to create healthy partnerships. And sometimes, you know, if you see someone lagging or you see someone not fitting in or you see someone being the outcast, you take them underneath your wing, especially if they do good work, especially if they seem like they're a solid fucking person. Do not be a follower of water signs. Do not be a follower. And when you feel yourself being shady and shasty, make yourself give someone a compliment. Rebuke that spirit of being a shady bitch. Look at this nine of wands energy. Rebuke that spirit of being a shady bitch, water signs. You know, cancers and Pisces. Who, honey? Honey. And Scorpio, too. When you guys are in your lower aspects, you, you gossip like it ain't nothing. And um, and and you could be cutting, you can be, you can be a little hurtful, especially you cancers. Crabby. Happy Patty. Rebuke that energy. And when you see the another, rebuke it. Look at this. The Hermit. This is an enlightened being. Better fucking act like it. You better act like it. Don't be out here acting like you don't have no sense being rude and shady. And don't be allowing other people to do that because it don't help the collective and it don't help us create positive work environments so that we can get our money, pay our bills, invest into our brands, and flip that bitch. God is good. All right, this has been a, a reading, a message channeled by the Holy Spirit, the Most High. 
our ancestors, all benevolent energies in between that are in alignment with the union between the divine feminine and divine masculine. Never get it twisted. You know, please check your north, your north, <laughs> your north node and your Mars. Okay? And um, love y'all. Hope it resonated. Bye.